Hey guys, welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to take the screenshots and also we are going to learn uh, how to mask a particular element. It's going to be really easy, but uh, if you compare with the Selenium, in Selenium we can just only take the screenshot, but in Playwright we have multiple options. We are going to see commonly used functions as well as few of the functions definitions. So let's get started. It's going to be very easy actually. So uh, as usual, we have this particular piece of code. Uh, we are in day 17, the import code, uh, class name, and as usual, just to launch the page. Um, so I'm going to use this particular uh, GitHub page example just to show you. So if I go here, you can see like uh, we have this default viewport. That means like whatever we are able to see in the DOM. So by default, it will take that particular screenshot. But if you want to take the full page screenshot we can do that for example like if i scroll down you can see like there are more content available right so playwright can do the uh, scrolling automatically and it will capture the full page as well so let me tell you how to do that so first of all we have to say like page dot screenshot and we have like method overloading concept here one is the without parameter and with one is with parameter so by default it is going to return as the byte uh, Byte in the sense like for example if you know extent report extent report also we use this byte format so that it will be like embedding the image within the html report uh, we won't get the snapshot separately so if you want to use for those scenarios probably you can use the byte or else mostly uh, we'll use this like this thing okay so here we have to select new screenshot options dot and make sure you're going to import this from playwright dot uh, page dot screenshot options or else you won't get the auto suggestions and here we can select we have like a lot of functions we'll talk about this one by one so first thing we want to use the set path that means like we are going to say where my screenshot should be stored okay so for example if i go to my um package explorer i can see like i have a folder called snaps i'm going to delete this okay now i'm going to create a folder called snaps so here I can say like path dot get and here I'll say like dot slash snaps and that means from the root of the project I'm going to create a folder called snaps and then followed by I'm going to say like img dot png img is my image name and png is the file extension by default it will generate in the png format if you want you can change this to jpeg as well but I will recommend you to go with the png because png is like um, high quality with low size of the image okay. so if i go and refresh this particular project here you can see like we have a snaps folder and within that we have this img.png so if i open this you can see like this is like whatever we are able to see when the browser is going to launch we can see that particular snap let me open this in system explorer so that we can see it fully so this is like a default viewport but let's say that i want to um, say this guy in uh, full page right so what can i do is i can simply say like same thing but we'll add one more function like dot set full page and here we will set the true as boolean okay let me name this like full page and let me go and run this one more time so if i go to the file you can see like um full page.png so we got like the everything so here you can select the youtube links the code section and everything right so this is how it's very useful so previously we got only the visible portion but if you want to get the full page of course you can get the full page not only full page or the visible portion if you want to take a particular region or particular locator you can do that okay so for example uh, page.locator let's say that we are going to um find this so here you can select we have this search option so let's go this is logged in so the ui is different this is without authentication the ui is little different okay so that's why i have used this incognito mode so here we have a placeholder called search right so of course it's a play right we don't have to even find the locator so you can say like get by i mean 
inspect the element and find that we can just go with this like search okay so this is going to return me the search locator probably save it like this okay now if i want to take that particular screenshot i can do like search locator dot screenshot and again we have both the functions okay so here of course i'm going to say this thing okay and make sure you're going to close the brackets properly and one more difference is like here we have to say like new locator dot screenshot options okay so for page you have to use like for a new screenshot options and here you have to select new locator dot screenshot options okay now let's go and run this in typescript it's really easy you don't have to deal with like a lot of input statement the classes it's after okay i have used the same name as here like img.png so that's why it replaced the previous screenshot so here you can see like we got this particular guy called search okay in this we have like two options for example let's say that when we do the um, click action right so if i go and click on this search here you can see like some blink is coming right so that is known as caret so if i if i want i can enable that or else i can disable that as well for example here i can say like uh, let's say that I'm going to click on that particular guy search locator dot click so once I oh come on once I do the click action it will basically have the caret symbol that blink symbol right so here I can say like um, dot set caret and here I can give like screenshot caret dot hide or initial by default it's hide so if you give initial that means it will show us that particular thing okay so let's do it do it in this way and i'm going to take the screenshot again but this time let's do it like hide so here i'll say like i dot png and this guy is going to be like my hide okay so let's go and run this one more time For screenshot itself, like we have like plenty of options. That is why I prefer Sky. Okay, so here you can select within the height. We don't have this that particular tick thing. And here, if I go this to the last one, that is initial.png, you can see like that tick, that blink, that cat symbol is there. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Very cool. Okay. Now, lastly, we are going to learn one more topic that is the mask, which is introduced in the version 1.20. So what is masking in the sense like, um, let's say that we have automated our test script for the smoke test in the prod version. And we want to share our screenshot or the reports, but we don't want to show them everything. Rather, like if there is my username, some ID, some password field, I like to mask it so mask in the sense like it will like have a, a pink color box shape depends on the element so the user credentials will be hidden that's a very simple thing okay let's take let's take the same example uh, i will take the okay uh, okay one exception will come if we use the search locator that means we can do the masking from the page not from the locator okay let me show you okay so here I am going to say something like uh, dot set mask and within the mask we have to pass like list so I will say like array as list array as list and then I will give my guy that is the locator okay so if I give this and if I try to run we'll end up with an exception like this is not possible okay so here you can see like we got the exception and it says basically like a reflect injected something something unable to make field private something something we are getting okay so the reason is this guy so how we can use in the sense like we have to use from the page so for example here i can say like uh, page dot screenshot and new screenshot option and then followed by um 
set mask and then i can say like the same thing so rs as list okay then i can select set path the path some path let me name this like mask dot png now let's go and run this let's see it work fine i know it will work so basically from the page we have to take the masking we cannot take the masking from the um so here within the mask we have okay my bad actually so i have given like mask dot instead of dot i have make it like slash png so we consider that as a folder so let me go and run this one more time last time Okay, let me refresh the folder. So here you can select we got the mask.png and you can see that it's pink color box surrounded. Right. So this is what mask is. So for example, let's say that I want to hide this my autonic AC this username. So I can just find that element and I can do the mask. Okay, that's a very simple thing. I hope you are able to understand it. So that's it for this screenshot uh, video. Very easy topic. And if you use Playwright with TypeScript, we have a lot more option. I mean, the same option, but advantage is like, since we have Playwright test runner by default for each and every execution, the screenshot will be attached to the report automatically. We don't have to do anything. Yeah, we have to do the configuration, but yeah, other than that, it's really cool. Now with the screenshot, what we can do in Java, of course, we have to use the extent report or allure report, which is time consuming and code consuming. But yeah, we'll see that. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Apart from that, also we have few other methods. Like if you go to this particular documentation, link will be in the description. We have options like set animation, set carrot. We have saw, uh, set clip is there, set full page. We discuss set mask. We discuss. Omit background is also there. Like if you want to get a transparency image without any background color, you can use that. Set path, of course, we discussed. Set quality is there. Like you can give like int from zero to hundred based on the quality you want, but that will be applicable for JPEG, not for the PNG image. And if you want to scale your image, probably you can do that. And timeout is there. Set type is there. So you can set the type like default is PNG, but if you want JPEG, probably you can do this. So these are like your enum okay so yeah that's it if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply bye bye take care